everybody. It is Friday, July 3rd, beginning of the long holiday. I guess it's not a long weekend. Fourth of July is tomorrow. Anyway, uh, today is my weigh-in day, so let me show you what happened on the scale. I told you yesterday I was expecting a gain. I wasn't expecting quite that much, but I knew it was gonna be not pretty. So uh, just so you know, I'm not discouraged or deterred in any way. I am still at it. I have been faithful to being on plan today and I expect to stay that way. So uh, I'm just moving forward. I started with my very next meal. Anyway, um, I'm on my way over to Kohl's. I'm gonna see if I can find maybe a, a couple t-shirts and uh, some shorts. I haven't bought clothes for myself in a long, long time. And the only pair of shorts that I have that fit me right now uh, are three years old and, they, and they're falling down on me. So I wanna see if maybe I can get a different pair of shorts. <laughs> To where to our family gathering tomorrow and um, maybe some tank tops because it's hot my poor puppy he's she's so hot in my apartment I, I left and left the fan on for her I even left my door open so um, hopefully she won't get too hot while I'm gone so she's been laying in front of the fan all day took her for a ride last night over to my son's so she could cool off in the car a little bit. I have to go away a little bit tonight too, so after the sun goes down, hopefully it'll cool off, but it's not supposed to get real cool in the next couple days. I'm um, just hoping that they can fix that air conditioning on Tuesday so that next week I can have it cooler up there. Anyway, um, so today so far, let's see, I had... getting that one patch that keeps knocking my phone off. I've had, as I record this, I'm, I've already had my lunch and uh, one snack. I'll just leave that there. So, uh, I forget how many points I'm up to. Not a whole lot. It's too hot to eat. You know? I have five for breakfast and I think five for lunch. So, ten plus one in my snack, and I did have some popsicles that were one point. 11, so I think I've got 11 points so far. And for dinner, I plan on having a chicken salad, because like I said, it's just too hot. I don't even want to turn on my stove. I had a breakfast, I had eggs for breakfast this morning, and that's about all the heat I want in my kitchen right now. And I am meeting a friend at Panera, and I might just wait and get a Panera salad if I've got the points for it. I'll have to look it up before I go or before I decide what I'm going to do. But uh, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm meeting a friend at, at Panera, a friend from church. And uh, so I just might get a, a, you know, a small salad at there instead. Boy, when it decided to get hot, it sure got hot quick, didn't it? Anyway, like I said, I'm moving on. I think that's the number one th reason people stop losing weight is when they have a setback, they just give up and say, oh, what the heck, I'm just gonna give up. And that's very easy to do. I've done it myself, but I'm not going to this time. Yes, I had a major setback this week. I knew it, I did it to myself. And uh, there was no reason for me to eat the way I did. I just let my emotions and my stress level get to the best of me. Uh, so I'm, I'm just moving on. And I'll just leave it at that. So anyway, let me show you now what I've had to eat today. Like I said, nothing amazing. Not trying any new recipes. Those menu plans, oh, I do want to tell you this. Those menu plans that I have, they're really good menu plans. But for me, it's, I mean, it's hard to say 
if they're working or not. I don't think they are because the whole week and up until that one day that I kind of blew it all, I, I my scale wasn't budging. So uh, you know, and I weigh myself every day. So I, I'm considering going back to blue. Uh, I want to give this green plan a, a couple more weeks, and if my scale's not moving in the right direction again, after you know, really, really staying at it, I. I may, uh, I may go back to blue because I was successful on blue. Um, there's too much food in this menu plan for one thing. And I mentioned that before. So I did cut the food back a little bit. Um, but to be honest with you, I think I'm going to go back to my own menus. Those were good ideas, and uh, some of those recipes I'm still going to try. Um, just, it was way too much food for me. Especially now, since I'm not walking, you know, 18,000 steps a day anymore. And, number one, it's too hot. And I'm not working anymore, so I'm not getting the steps that I was getting when I was working at Walmart. Um... So I don't need it to have all that food. Anyway, I'm going to go back to my own menu plans. Um, today what I had for breakfast wasn't on my plan. Um, well, it was sort of. But the menu said a three egg omelet. Well, I made an omelet, yeah, but I only used one egg and I used two egg whites. So my concern is uh, the amount of protein and so that my blood sugar level doesn't drop anymore. So. Uh, the key for me, and this was a problem when I was working too, I need to eat something like every couple of hours when I am really cutting back on the amount of food that I'm eating. So every, I'm trying to eat something every two hours, even if it's just a cheese stick or, you know, something. Uh, that's just the way my body works. It could be different from y'all, but I, uh, that's the way I need to do it. And then I need to stop eating at 7 o'clock at night. So, another reason for my big weight gain is some of the foods I was eating were causing me to be very constipated. So, of course, after my weigh out, you know, weigh in, I had constipation kind of quit. <laughs> Let's just say that. And I've been running to the bathroom a lot today. So, I don't know what it was that I was eating that was causing me to be constipated other than the fact, and I was eating more fruit this week. I, I will say that. I, I ate more fruit than normal. So, uh, and it all added up. And plus the humidity. I think that has a, that plays a big, big part in it, you know, the barometric pressure is high. And I mean, the humidity is just really high here. I should be used to it because I've lived in Ohio all of my life or most of my life. Um, I should be used to it and uh, I'm just, every summer I'm not. This reminds me of when I lived in the house. We didn't have any air conditioning in the house too and I remember the hot dog days of summer. Um, in our upstairs bedrooms it was just, you know, incredibly hot. A lot of times we all just slept out in the living room. <laughs> because it was so hot because I can't do that but um, hopefully next week my air will be fixed I know I'm a wimp so but last night before I went to bed I was tired and it was so hot I couldn't sleep so I went to bed before I went to bed I wiped myself down you know uh, with a cool cloth and that helps until I can get to sleep you know and I've been known to go in, jump in and take a nice cool shower before I go to bed just to cool down and um, yeah I'm, I, I pause because I'm thinking which way do I want to go here to go to Kohl's so now I've decided all right like I said let me show you my food now and then I'll be back to wrap things up Okay, I'm starting my day out with an omelet. I've got one egg and two egg whites for two points. I have a tablespoon of Asiago cheese on there for one point, so my omelet is three points. It's just veggies in there, sauteed in pan. 
Everything else on my plate is zero. The tomato zero, the cantaloupe is zero. And I have two points in my coffee. So I have a five point breakfast. All right, this is my lunch today. I've got a tuna sandwich. My bread is two points. It's uh, two slices of the Nichols light bread. Uh, one can of tuna, which is one point. A tablespoon of Miracle Whip Light for one point and 28 grams of fresh avocado for one point. So one, two, three, four, five points in my sandwich, I think. Is that right? Avocado, tuna, Miracle Whip, yep. Five points in my sandwich. And I just have some cucumbers. So it's a five point lunch. All right, I'm having a snack before my dinner. Um, just it's 197 grams of watermelon. That's zero points, and one laughing cow cheese for one point. This takes me up to 13 points for the day. All right, for dinner I'm just having a burger. It's a ground beef burger, three and an eighth ounce. It's 95 percent lean. Uh, five points. It's three and an eighth ounces. One slice of Velveeta for one point. Um, everything else is zero. This is the Sweet Baby Ray's sugar-free barbecue sauce, two tablespoons, which is zero points. So I have a six-point dinner. Okay, well there you have it for uh, my day today. I ended the day with 20 points. Uh, I had a couple popsicles. That kind of I counted for one point. So yeah, I ended the day 20 points big difference when it was the other day. So we'll see what happens on the scale tomorrow. Um, I met a friend for uh, at Panera this evening just to catch up and, you know, talk. And I had iced tea for zero points. So uh, Panera has really scaled back their stuff, you know, since all this COVID. I wasn't really tempted by anything, although their cookies looked really good. Uh, and I had the points to get one, I just chose not to. But anyway, uh, good day today. So tomorrow I'm having, I'm going to a cookout. So tomorrow might be a different story from today. I'm going to enjoy myself, it's with family. I'm going to try to be very mindful of what I'm eating. But, you know... I didn't do too well at the graduation party, so <laughs> we'll see. I mean, I, it's going to be really, really hot, so uh, I think we're going to have mostly like veggies and fruit available there. Probably hot dogs and hamburgers. So anyway, I'll let you know how tomorrow goes, but uh, I, I will count as much as I can. I will track as much as I can uh, tomorrow. We'll just see what happens. So you guys have a very safe 4th of July. More than likely, I'm not going to record anything tomorrow. So, because uh, I'm, I'm going to be with my family all day. So. Anyway, you guys have a safe 4th of July. If you're traveling, please be careful on the road. I can travel about an hour north. Um, but other than that, it's pretty, it's... A lot of, half of the travel is back road stuff. So, uh, I'll see you guys on Sunday. Have a blessed fourth. See you. Bye-bye.